Welcome to EDC's Week in Review, your November 1st edition. Thank you for tuning in. We hope everyone had a happy Halloween. And now for some weather. We've got some rain coming in on Friday with a 50% chance and a bit more on Saturday at 30%. But after that, the clouds clear out and we're in for a beautiful sunny streak starting Sunday. Temperatures will slowly climb through the week, reaching around 68 degrees by Wednesday. Enjoy the sunshine. Now on to our top stories. Mosquito Bridge Truck Accident Mosquito Bridge was temporarily closed on October 29th after a large truck became wedged against its narrow railings, requiring extensive extraction efforts. Repairs included replacing two bent truss rods and fixing broken webbing on the historic structure. While the bridge was closed, drivers were redirected to Rock Creek Road as an alternative route. The bridge reopened the following evening after passing a structural assessment. Grand Theft of Trading Cards On October 27, deputies arrested Anthony Bondura, 67, of El Dorado Hills in connection with multiple thefts from a local Target store. Bondura allegedly stole approximately $2,000 worth of sports-themed trading cards over recent weeks. During a search of his home, deputies recovered the stolen items along with additional evidence of criminal activity. Bondura now faces grand theft charges and is in custody at the county jail. Ex-candidate Bruner arrested on drug charges Kevin Edward Bruner, a former South Lake Tahoe City Council candidate, was arrested on drug charges in state line after being identified by casino security. On probation for arson, Bruner allegedly had 28 grams of methamphetamine and 0.2 grams of fentanyl at the time of arrest. He was taken to Douglas County Jail with bail set at $3,500, pending further legal action. Pot arrests trespassers near Walmart. The El Dorado County Sheriff's Homeless Outreach Team recently arrested individuals camping in a wooded area near Walmart where they had previously been banned for violations. After confirming their trespassing status, deputies took the individuals into custody and collected and stored their belongings. The Sheriff's Office emphasizes its commitment to public safety while also offering resources for those seeking assistance. This approach reflects a balance of enforcement and community support in addressing homelessness. Broadway Construction Nears Completion Placerville's Broadway Construction Project is in its final stages, with the contractor having completed major paving work on both Broadway and Mosquito Road. Upcoming work includes utility adjustments and final stripping, with some work occurring during nighttime hours for minimal daytime disruption. The city urges residents to remain patient and keep up with weekly project updates available on the official project website. This project is set to improve traffic flow and pedestrian safety in the area. And now for some news nuggets. Beginning November 1st, Cal Fire's Amador El Dorado unit lifted its burn permit suspension, now allowing agriculture and residential burning in certain areas, with permits required and safety measures advised. As black bears in Tahoe enter the high calorie feeding season, residents are advised to secure garbage and pet food to minimize bear encounters. Following recent tree clearing for improved nighttime safety, Georgetown Airport has reopened for night operation and encourages the community to stay up to date on its schedule. Now onto our closing stories. Record seed collection for Sugar Pine Foundation. This September, the Sugar Pine Foundation took advantage of a mast year for Tahoe Sugar Pines, collecting an unprecedented amount of seeds for restoration. Foundation climbers harvested seeds from various resilient trees, storing them for future planting in fire-affected areas, including the Caldor Fire Region. With 55,000 sugar pine seeds among others, the foundation aims to bolster seed stocks critical for wildfire restoration across California. This seed bank will support planting efforts for years to come, sustaining the local ecosystem. November 5th is Election Day, make your vote count. With Election Day fast approaching on November 5th, El Dorado County residents are encouraged to get out and vote to make their voices heard. Voters have the option to cast their ballot in person at any of the county's vote centers, some of which are already open, with additional centers opening on November 2nd. At these centers, you can register to vote, drop off a completed ballot, use accessible voting machines, and receive assistance in multiple languages. For added convenience, you can track your ballot online and watch the elections office in action via live stream. Find all the resources you need to ensure your vote counts. This has been EDC's Week in Review, your November 1st edition. Thank you for tuning in. And as always, if you enjoy our content, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. And if you want to learn more about these stories, please see the show notes.